but now that we've turned it upside down and we are actually uploading that same video on the other half of this segment right now uh but we just got done guys decrypting and so here's what this is isaiah says turning up uh, you know you, uh, the ways of the wicked will turn them upside down surely surely there we go surely you're turning of things upside down Isaiah 29 16 you guys can go and check that out yourselves um, there's that now here's this okay so there's the we just turned the Jesus upside down or the Yeshua upside down uh, I call it false representation because it's the catholic church it's not really yeshua anyway so yeah it's jesus because jesus isn't his name anyways that's a side fact sorry when i almost went off on a little one uh here's the bull's eye here's the other bull's eye here's the main frame of the face there's the nose there's the nose it's all outlined in orange and then here are the bull's horns or the devil's horns or Baal. Now really quick, because of the fact that this whole thing is in fact a twin system. Okay, male and female. This is a twin system I'm telling you right now see what I mean twin system as above so below by the way with this one this one right here it won't let me zoom in anyways there we go as above so below also I want you to look at this this here okay It's a snake. You see what I mean? It's a snake. The eyes. That head matches up right there. Boom. Those holes are the snake's nose. Boom. You were born from serpent. Okay? That's just the way it is. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. Because it was written. And that's what scripture says as well. And yes, you were born upside down. And so yes, we are the fallen ones. If you'd like to read about the fact of God saying that we will die like princes or we will die like the fallen ones or no we will die like men uh but we will fall like the fallen ones or we but we will fall like the princes sorry anyways go read it it's revelation 12 1 through 9 now Remember the bugs that we just saw with the mandibles? Let me do this really quick. Now this is a woman's... You know, that matches, guys. Now let's look at that closely. Again, remember last time I said this is the ma these are the mandibles. These are the mandibles. Here's the eye, here's the eye, and here's the mouth. Now let's go look at that bug real quick again. There's that. Okay, that's the same thing. What I just now showed you. And yes, we are fallen. We're born upside down, guys. 
here's that same agenda. The Lotus. The Lotus, that is the same agenda, guys. Oh yeah, let me point this out too. You see what I'm saying? Let me go up a little bit. Gosh, I did that toast last time. Here we go. Let it go. And then put it here. Oh, look, those go matching perfectly. Remember I said that it's also a sheep's face? That's what it is, guys. This is also a sheep's face. Here's the sheep's eye right here. Here's the other sheep's eye. Here's the sheep's face. Here's the sheep's tongue. Or if you want to put that up to a goat head, you can too. Anyways, guys. Yeah. I mean, even this Catholic church that we went over last time. That is a dove upside down, meaning just representation again, straight out of the Catholic Church, representation of falling angels. I drew it. That's the same thing of what you just looked at. And then boom, there's the fallen angel. That's what we are. Twin system. Okay. Yes, the giants were here. And look, this is a human embryo. And oddly enough, we just went over it that the that that it looks just like I mean that right there is the snake's the same thing and then look, that's a human embryo. I bet you thought that was a freaking embryo of a snake. Human embryo, right there, all right, all right, I want to point out again, guys, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your eyes, and your ears, for they hear, for verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and see and have not seen them and he, and to hear those things which ye hear and have heard them uh, and have heard and have not heard them. Sorry. All right. From there, let's go to another scripture. Let's not read that. Um, real quick, actually, since we're on that whole double system, twin system, mixed breed, you'll see why I put that up to there in a minute. This is a pillar on St. Peter's Basilica. That is a vagina. Just like Ariana Grande's thing. The same agenda again. All over. Because it's all planned out. And it will all go as planned. And again I will say it is also. It has been written. So. Anyways, this is a mummy right here. This is a character of a person. His face is right there. And then again, that is the baby giving birth. The vagina is giving birth. Uh, that is also a flower is blooming. Life is blooming. You get it? Also, birth to Cain. That's what that is. Now, let's... Turn it upside down. And it turns into 
a giant bug. Again. Here are the mandibles. Here are the mandibles. Here are... Is like the nose... Pincher, tweezer, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what those are. And then there's again, there's the eyes. Now Isaiah, again, 29 says... Turn the ways of the wicked upside down, and you will be able to identify them for what they really are, guys. Now, people that want to come onto the comment section and be like, you know, you're crazy, and you know, enter yourself into a mental institution, blah, 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 all that negative ignorant nonsense I always come with scripture so this one is for you guys this this scripture is talking about those type of people that don't do their homework and they just want to say oh well maybe it's all just by accident you think it just happened by accident well I mean no but I don't think that the people like we just said I don't think they knew what they were doing because they're being used, again, they're being used via host body. We are fallen angels, period. Again, you can read that and says we are fallen angels in Revelation 12, 1 through 9. Uh, anyways, Isaiah 30, 10, 11. Which say to the seer... Or seers, see not. Well, hang on. Let me try to read it with personality. Which say to the seers, see not, and to prophesy, or, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, because they want to know just a bunch of fabricated. They don't want to know the truth. So do not prophesy unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy. Die. Seded. Or, uh, prophesy. Deceits. Sorry. Prophesy deceits. Um, just talk about nonsense that they, you know. Talk about the people that deceive you and trick you and look at them like idols. That's what they do. They look at these people like idols and then they just want to run with all of the nonsense. And it says that right there. Speak to us not of right things. They don't want to know the truth. They're scared. Uh, anyways, get you out of the way literally just saying leave prophets seers be quiet and stop being crazy whatever dude you guys are so small minded i mean all of this is in y'all's face all day every day and then you i don't anyways i'm not gonna go on that level of uh, nonsense just I'll always come with the scriptures to back myself up though God's God will always back you up with your tools of scripture this is your weapon guys scripture is your weapon just like they do this in your face you can totally just get back at them with scripture. These are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit. So in the spirit, he, God talks to you as the seer or as the watchman. Now we are reading the new translated version. Let's go down to the, to the, um, KJV.
But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit, searching all things. Research all things. We search all things. We should. We should. Yeah, or ye, or you, the deep thing, or no, yeah, the deep things of God, meaning you, basically once you can see in the spirit, you've seen them with God eyes, and you're, you're being gifted with n new sight, and you can see into all of this nonsense language that they mock you with. It's amazing. You can't fall for it once once you know about it. So wow though, guys. It literally says, But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. And by the spirit of God, we're able to see into these things. Now it says, For the spirit searcheth all things not just a little bit all of it it's all connected anyways so one of the, i mean if you're gonna pick up a shovel and start digging <coughs> this matrix magic i mean a uh, matrix rabbit hole get ready to be digging for quite a while it's interesting though guys it's interesting. I love it. Seeing into their world and under or and overstanding uh, what it is and what it's doing and how they do it. I love it. Um, let me real quick for those of you because I remember I had stated. In another video, <clears throat> do not partake, partake in there and their wicked ways. But instead, <clears throat> expose them. Ezekiel five. Ezekiel five. Here we go. Ezekiel 5.11 <clears throat> And hath no fellowship with the unfaithful worker, uh, works of darkness. Uh, partake, don't partake in their wicked ways. And have no fellowship with the unfaithful, uh, unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You want to see what that means? That means expose. You see right there. Expose them. Reprove them means expose them. Okay? That is... Ephesians 5.11 That's a good scripture, guys. I like that. Alright, I'm going to bed. Be blessed. We'll see you. Good night. Leave your comments and hit the like button.